Hi everyone, my name is Monica and welcome to my channel. Oh my gosh, there's a calisthenics, I think is what it's called, court. Too bad I don't actually know how to do any of this stuff, but good thing there is a chart. I'm staying in Denver, Colorado because my husband, Chris, he has some kind of conference for work. He's a computer scientist and they have this big conference going on right now and one of the cool perks about his job is he gets to travel some and sometimes he can bring me with him, so that's always fun. I just like to travel everywhere. So I want to do a quick hotel room tour with you guys. Um, I'm excited because we normally don't stay in like very fancy or expensive hotels. We usually do cheaper hotels so that um, we can save money and we can spend more money on traveling. But um, since his work is paying for this one, we were able to get a nice one downtown. <laughs> right when you come in, it smells like cologne. Uh, and then here is the closet. I love this feature, the light just turns on as soon as you open. And as you can see, I have already moved in. <laughs> I like to unpack and organize as soon as I get to the hotel. And I hadn't seen this before in a hotel. This is really cool. It's like a barnyard door, I think is what it's called. It just slides to one side. And then, again, they have this feature under the sink. As soon as you walk in, the light comes on, which is really nice. It's like a night light. <laughs> got all my stuff spread out, all my cruelty-free vegan products. This rain shower head. A really tiny bathtub though. I like, I swear this bathtub is made for hobbits. I'm 5'10", so that would be a little difficult for me to get in and out, but I guess it would do the job if I wanted to take a bath. 
And they have a recycling container, which gets me excited. Love recycling. It's two queen beds. I like this artwork. It looks southwestern. It reminds me of New Mexico. This is our view. We're on the fifth floor. So there's a parking garage, but there's also a lot of skyscrapers. So it's a pretty nice view. It's really quiet on the street, even though there's some traffic during the day. Picture of a cute buffalo, it's so cute. So one of the things I wanted to show you is traveling hacks that I've learned on how to eat vegan in a hotel room, even if you don't have like a kitchen or a kitchenette. These are some tips I've like picked up since I've been vegan and you know, eating out can be really expensive, you know, three times a day. Also, sometimes you might get tired of just eating food that's really high in like oil and salt. So I like to have some options to, you know, eat in if I want to or if I'm trying to save time. I mean, there's a lot of reasons why you might not want to go out to eat for a meal. Over here we have like my vanity slash little kitchen area. We requested a microwave because they don't have these in the rooms, especially like usually more expensive hotels don't automatically have them like we're used to at the cheaper hotels. So we requested a microwave and they brought one up. And so this has been really good for, if we do eat out, we can heat up our leftovers or, or you could um, heat up certain foods. Another thing, we used to bring our Vitamix, which was really heavy bulky and I asked for this on our wedding registry it's a little handheld blender so easy to travel with so we can mix up smoothies or whatever else you might need to mix up it's really it's actually pretty powerful for being so small and that came with this cup I haven't opened yet but you can blend your smoothies or sauces or whatever in, in the cup and then I brought basic essentials like a can opener. You can always use one of those. And some seasonings like some seasoned salt. And some nutritional yeast. If you're vegan, you probably always have nooch on hand. Also brought some Trader Joe's 21 Seasoning Salute. This is really good on a variety of stuff. And I brought other little odd things I wasn't sure if I'd need, like measuring cups and a um, few cases of Tupperware. In case I needed to heat up something in the microwave and also put it away. Uh, some plastic utensils that I can recycle after. I don't really like tap water in most places, so I just got a big thing of water at the 7-Eleven across the street. This was the first time that we brought our rice cooker. Our beloved rice cooker is now dented, so I don't recommend bringing this. Uh, it's not dented on the inside, but so we'll see if it still works. I don't know if the heating coils are messed up. So I don't recommend that, but we put it in a really big suitcase and I thought I padded it with a lot of uh, clothes and coats and stuff, but it still got damaged on the flight. Uh, more plastic silverware and napkins. And the other thing we requested was a fridge so that we could put our leftovers in or anything that we need to keep cold. I've been drinking like a lot of smoothies and I've been buying them from the store or sometimes I'll get them from like a juice cafe or I'll get some from the store and I've been putting them in the refrigerator so that I could have it in the morning. It's nice and cold. Fortunately, most hotels do have backup refrigerators and microwaves. So don't ever be afraid to ask. When we called and made the reservation, we asked specifically for those two items. And they told us they'd make a note of it on our account. And when we got here, they told us, oh, you know, we have the microwave. And I asked them again, I was like, oh, do you still have a fridge? And they said, you know, let me go check and we'll bring you one if we had one. And they did have one. So a lot of times they do have it, just make sure to ask. So if we were gonna use our rice cooker, I brought bouillon cubes, cause I like veggie flavored rice and and a spoon to take the rice out of. And then last but not least, I just brought a wine opener because I am vegan, but I also drink occasionally, so never knew when you might need this. We still need to go to the store and actually buy, you know, rice and you can get like canned beans, canned veggies, anything that you can put in the microwave 
and then also you can store it back in the fridge. But that wraps up my hotel tour vlog, plus some tips, some tricks that I use to uh, save some money, eat a little healthier inside of the hotel room instead of always going out for every meal. And don't get me wrong, I've been eating up a storm since we've got here. I've been like trying so many different vegan cuisines. It's been amazing. In the last few years since I came here, before I was vegan, um, I'm already noticing there's so much vegan food everywhere. And now it's actually clearly labeled too. I think that is tremendous progress in the right direction. So that makes me super happy. So if you like this video and you want to keep following my vegan journey, make sure to hit the subscribe button and ring the notification bell. And like if you like, and comment if you have any questions. All right, that's it lovelies. I will see you later. Bye.